Um, I know Margaret Hamilton had a recurring role on Ethel and Albert. Can you tell us what it was like working with her? It was just fine. Yeah? Margaret was fine. We were great friends. And then there's one thing about actors, they, and they can't help it. Maggie called me. We spent. The, she never did anything between that making the Wizard of Oz and doing my show, and the whole two or three years, she would say every time we'd go anywhere, I don't know what I would do with the call. Call me Peggy. About Peggy, she says it's marvelous. I will work on her show, and I paid her the same thing I gave myself. I couldn't afford really what she was worth because she was worth it to be on my show, and I liked her. Uh -huh. We got along just fine. She moved down to where she lived and Gramercy Park to be near me. And we had a Sunday night, we'd have a Sunday night, like the Players Club for women, except across the street the Players Club was having it for men. And uh, I stopped one time and uh, had to dr drop a script offer to Lilla Bankhead, and she had bare feet and an old icky house dress, and she said, I'm scrubbing the kitchen floor, come on in. <laughs> and I said, I said, I can't, I gotta get home and get a script famous or start or finish or something like that. And, uh, but I always just come on now, take, take five. So, she, I didn't know her at all. She was very sweet, very funny. And I said, my God, you must have somebody. I look, here was a tub, it was filled with glads. And it was just enormous. And I said, boy, somebody really loves you. No, she said, it's a Brooklyn gas company. They're so afraid I'm going to screw up their commercial tomorrow. But Maggie did something to me that was typical. I paid her the same because I could afford she, I could afford. And I, whether you're on it or not, oh, you will yeah. get this much. You said, uh -huh. I can't remember, like 650 or something like that. She was worth that to me. But what she did was so strange. She didn't, I'd say you're on one or you're on three or something like that. And we could record by that time, you see, okay. one day, so we didn't have to worry about that. And she called me and said, am I on any of them? She was always on some. I said, yes, you're on seven of them out of the ten, two weeks. And she said, well, I just wonder, I, Meg, I, Peggy, I don't think we can go on with this arrangement. I said, what's the matter? Well, United States Steel wants me out on the coast to do a commercial, and they'll give me a thousand dollars. And uh, <laughs> once in my life, kept my mouth shut. Mm -hmm. I said, "Well, if it means that much to you, why go on and go mm -hmm. go and get your thousand dollars? Then I'll see you when you get back." But I thought really wanted to kill her because that meant I had to make seven new shows mm -hmm. right. in one yeah. week. I don't. I couldn't figure out where where's friendship and. Where does it start and where does it end? Yeah. Yeah. And, and she was terrible to me. At, uh, then she had, well, Maggie slipped on a squirrel. What? <laughs> on a squirrel? Yes, she did. She had, <laughs> that's exactly what happened. She was, she stepped out, she had a, a cottage in, up in Maine, and she stepped outdoors and she stepped on a squirrel's tail. And the squirrel made her slip and she hurt her back, mm -hmm. and it really hurt, and she shrunk, she really, boom. And it affected her on top of that. Anyhow, uh, I Didn't can't you meet, remember. Didn't you meet, you met up I, somewhere, I can't remember what it was. Well, what it was wasn't that, it was, she had done the, this is apropos nothing that I'm talking about, we're still working, and uh, she just began well, she once bashed some girl over the head with a cast iron fry pan. It's true the pan was small, but that hurt, <laughs> you know. And the and, and the, she didn't like it. So you mean it started what? affecting her mentally after oh, the fall? Yeah, yeah, I did. see. Oh, I okay. Did, really, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll read the translate for me. I will. <laughs> and she did come back, and I didn't. I didn't say anything. Just happened. But she, and then, oh, oh, Batulula. She came back from Hollywood, and uh, she came over the bar. Two men carrying this, like a wash, like a mm -hmm. you know, like this cast, uh, cast iron. Full of the flowers. Yeah, three, four dozen. They were huge, and she splashed water on Maggie's floor, yeah. and Maggie got mad, and so she said, I "Hate these people." Bring your flowers. They're going to bring your flowers when they're coming for dinner. They should, be, by God, bring bring it in a vase, bring it in a plant, 
something like that. Don't bring flowers when I got out outside and get the ladder and all the time Tallulah was standing there. And so I motioned her to go on into the living room where the people were there but was listening. And and Maggie then somebody went out and got the ladder. Oh, I was sent them out for the ladder and the ladder came in and the upshot, I cannot remember all the details, got it written up somewhere, and she fell. Uh -huh. And she didn't hurt herself, but she got really mad and told the boy off who had nothing to do with it, and there was water on her face. And I, I, I got her into the dressing, into her bedroom, and asked her to behave herself, you know. But it's kind of awkward. There was I thought she one. was rude to you years oh. later. Oh yes. Too. Then on her 80th birthday, on her 80th birthday, they called me and said, "Could I come up to her, her 80th birthday to chat to uh, Sardis?" Oh Christ! I got to get the bus up. Well. Yeah, I thought I'd better do that. And I did, and I got in, she didn't know me. And uh, they were all sitting at tables and so on. And I walked over to where she was. I said, hi, Maggie. And her son said, it's Peg, honey. Peg, mother. Oh, who? Peg, you know, Peg Lynch. And she didn't know me. She didn't know uh, uh, who was the one who had the geranium dropped on her head. Well, I don't remember. know. Arlene Francis, Geranium dropped off and oh. killed a woman down on the street, you know, one time. Oh. Yeah. It was her. She didn't know her either. But that wasn't being rude to you. She just no, didn't no. know you. I thought she was rude to you some She day. was. Oh. The, the same day. Oh. So then he brought, the, the end of it, and I looked over at someone and said, Who's that woman? Who is that in the pink suit? She looked so from every, It was Lorraine? No. Loretta Young. No. No, it was not. She was very big and had a pink suit on her hair. hair. What does she do? Sing? Act? Act. Well, I don't know, Mom. Well, I don't either, but she was... Well, the point... Well, the point is what I was talking about. Uh, Maggie got... They were going around to say goodbye to everybody and thanks for coming. And then Pat Maggie showed up with her son and she said... And uh, he said, well, say goodbye to Peg. Oh, there you are. She said, well, you certainly got me for nothing. I was a certainly a lot more than I, you should have paid me a lot more than you did. And loud. <laughs> oh. I could be heard over an area like this with all the actors and so I said, oh, I'm sorry, but I did the best I could. And I, well, it certainly wasn't very good, I'll tell you that. Oh. And her son was so embarrassed he could, okay. that he couldn't get, get her loose because she had dug her claws in <laughs> and she wasn't about to be budged and she was just whipping me oh, once dear. I think. You just thought oh, I didn't but, pay her at all. Yeah. But was that de her dementia speaking rather than really her? Well, I hope so. so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's sad. And, uh, that is the first time that, well she got so bad. We had, I'd been with her when she bought the apartment and the apartment was the oldest cooperative building in New York. And the, the, the boards, the floors were like this, and the elevator was the size of half of this room with an old man who I think mm -hmm. came with the elevator. And it was <laughs> up yeah, up it was a hand pulled hand elevator. Pulled oh, elevator. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, gorgeous. Boy, when you went shopping from Maggie's place, you didn't forget anything. It was a, you know, it was a voyage, a trip. I was scared to ask him to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyhow. She, yeah, she. At the time she bopped the, the nurse on the head, she got carted off to New Rochelle and Pat Isel. Oh. So she really was bad up. But the but the slipping on the squirrel did it. I think. Yeah. 